Ken from Emerge Cafe and this is Sherry, our chef down here at the cafe. And today we're making chicken and sweet corn pie, which is a really yummy uh, tummy filler that's awesome to use up some leftover chicken. The Sherry is just pulling apart the chicken um, and getting it all, all the meat off the bones. And this is really good if you've already had a roast chicken the night before. Um, you can get in and, and pull off all the meat and shred it into a bowl. So while Sherry is shredding up the chicken, I'm going to start cutting up some veggies. We're using capsicum, some spring onion and some frozen corn, but you could add in some other bits and pieces from the fridge too if you wanted. So after we've shredded off the chicken and we've diced up all the veggies, we're just going to heat it all up in a pan. So a little bit of olive oil or whatever oil you love to look, use, a um, bit of a drizzle in the pan. And we're just going to fry off the capsicum. Need a wooden spoon. So once all that is nice and soft and um, smelling lovely, we want to add in our shredded chicken. So we've got lots here, so we're just going to add in enough for one pie. Perfect, and then just mixing all the veggies and the chicken through together. Remember the chicken is cooked, so we're really just heating it up and, and getting it mixing through all those veggies and getting the flavour through the chicken. Um, once all the chicken and the veggies are mixed through, we're just going to add in a tin of chicken and sweet corn soup, which is about $1.50 a can from you know, Aldi, Woolies or Coles. This one's from Aldi. So we're just popping that one through. When you use a can of stuff, there's always stuff left on the outside. Remember using up all the leftovers, which is what this pie is all about. Just putting some water in, swishing in it around and popping it in there. Gives you some more liquid for your pie and also uses up every last bit in the can. And the final touch for the pan is just to add in about a cup's worth of grated cheese. Sprinkle him through. And then we're going to pour all of that into a pie dish. We've got a takeaway one, but you've probably got um, you know, a glass or ceramic pie dish you can use at home. Or you can even put it into a little pie making machine. They're really cool. Um, using puff pastry, making mini pies that you can pop in your freezer. Sherry's going to pop that in and we're just filling it up all the way to the sides and just making it nice and even. Um, so to finish this pie off, we're just going to use a bit of puff pastry on the top. Um, I always keep a good little supply of puff pastry in my freezer to use up little leftovers and make them into pies and things like that. Um, so we're going to pop this on top and then just glaze it with a bit of a milk and egg wash um, just so it gets nice and brown and crispy. And just pop it on top of the pie like so. And Sherry's going to show us how we can turn it into a beautiful pie top. So we're just brushing the top and that's just a little wash of, you can just use some milk or you can do some milk and some um, egg white as well. And that'll just get it all brown and crunchy in the oven. So after we've got the pie all ready, it's ready to go in the oven um, on about 180 degrees. About 15 minutes should be enough. All the inside is cooked, so you're really just browning the top. Um, it'll go beautiful and brown and crispy and it'll just smell amazing. So I hope you enjoyed that one today. If you make it, pop your pictures in the comments and hashtag, hashtag home project. Yeah.